All right, guys, Nick DeRosas. I'm here with Xavier MMA. So we did the first drill where we're working on head movements and keeping up our hands and just blocking those punches. Now we're gonna use our footwork at the same time. Again, there's no striking. All I'm gonna be doing is moving, using my footwork, parrying, blocking, jamming, moving my head, okay? Um, so Xavier, what are, we, what are we gonna do? We're gonna focus a lot on footwork here. Okay. Um, Obviously, on the last drill, we've seen how to keep your eyes open, your chin down, and moving your head away, moving your head away or blocking with your arms, which is still relevant in this drill. I mean, you still have to use this when it comes to uh, close uh, close encounters. But ideally, Nick is going to maintain his distance. He's going to try to cut angles on me, get out of the heat, get out of a danger zone. Because in fights, you can get uh, rocked, you can get yeah. stunned. So sometimes in those moments, it's super important to be able to manage your distance yeah. and to get out of the danger zone, you know, because there's moments of weakness where you can't probably take a punch, you know, like you better wait 10 more seconds before taking another punch than taking one right away. So by moving and managing the distance and moving your head and footwork, especially footwork. Yeah, it's your footwork is your base, right? Yes. Your head will only move as far as your two legs permit you. Yes, 100%. Right, so I always tell people if the head movement is not your actual head movement, it's your footwork and your core and how you're gonna engage your body and be able to move it, right? So uh, I'm gonna put on the mouthpiece. Again, I'm not striking or countering. I'm just focusing really on footwork, yeah. blocking and moving. So we'll try to stay inside drone. Yeah. Perfect, beautiful. Uh -huh. So right here, perfect. Yes, the pump, exactly. Insane. You guys go for about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how you feel, how you want to do it. Make sure you get a 10 second break for the 30 second round and a 15 second break for the 45 second round. So really just focusing on, on footwork at some point, I, I do extend my arm. A lot of blocking, a lot of blocking from Nate, which is his style, which is good because he, he messes around with a lot of elbows, a lot of smothering, you know? So. It's not, um, it's not like orthodox boxing or orthodox uh, MMA. It's different. It's more street. It's more combat based. You know where, I'm, boom, I'm, where you create a chaos. Yeah, you, you create, you turn uh, an encounter into a total chaos. Where if you can, if you're used to chaos more than the other guy, it becomes way easier. Yeah. You know. And for me, the reality is, if I was here, the the idea where I keep my hands up is so the instant I yes. come in, I can crash with the blade of my forearms and trap or grab every anything I can, break that distance. Especially regarding if your opponent has a weapon. Yeah. Huge, yeah, huge, it, huge, huge. If I have a weapon, and like now we're playing with punches because we're yeah. we're having fun, but if I had a knife, yeah, like, and I'm oh, boom, and then there we go. Come in and I have to trap, so, I mean, and I feel more comfortable in that close than outside. But again, it all depends on what you train, what you're training for, and what you're gonna use your training for, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go check out Xavier MMA on his YouTube channel. Put the link in the comment box. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. <laughs>